Hey, what up, YouTubers? It's your boy Alter Tech, aka that OnePlus guy. In today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to force 90 hertz on your OnePlus 7T. So, is it actually possible? And the answer is yes. Number one, the first thing you guys got to know is how to actually use the ADB command. So, I'll talk about that in just a second, but there are two ways for you to actually do this. Now, the first way is for you to just go ahead and type in the command, and that's going to force your phone to 90 hertz. And the thing about this is that you can't switch this off. This is everything is going to be 90 hertz. So if you guys want the ability to switch between 90 hertz and 60 hertz, you're going to have to install an app, and it's going to cost you some money. It's going to cost you about $1.49. So basically what this app does is that it gives you the ability to change between 90 hertz, 60 hertz, and keep it at auto. So for some apps, I'm forcing 90 hertz. Let's see, we have Google Maps, Call of Duty, Google Chrome, Mario Kart, you know, Reddit, Twitter, and I could definitely tell a difference. It looks a lot smoother, except when it comes to gaming. For some reason, like Call of Duty and Mario Kart, I don't really see much of a difference. So here's the thing. If you want to use this app, you're still going to have to go ahead and use an ADB command. Now, if you guys are not familiar with ADB, it's basically a command you type in terminal if you're using Mac OS, or maybe the command prompt if you're using Windows. So step number one, the first thing you guys want to do is open up your settings menu like so. I want you guys to enable developer options if you guys have yet not. Now I want you guys to go ahead and tap on build number. Now don't worry, this is not rooting your device. Your device is still going to be intact. So just keep tapping this. Tap it a couple times until it says you are a developer. So once it says you are a developer, I want you guys to go into the settings menu. And I want you guys to type in, let's see, USB debug and click on search and then it's going to say USB debugging tap on it and it's going to bring you up over here and I want you guys to go ahead and enable USB debugging so go ahead and turn that on it's going to ask you allow USB debugging I want you guys to tap on OK so after you've done this I want you to go ahead and plug in your device into your MacBook or your Windows PC like so and once you plug it on it's going to ask you do you want to allow USB debugging and I want you guys to tap on allow, like so. Now here's the thing people, you're gonna have to download ADB on your computer. So I'm gonna give you guys the links to go ahead and download that. And I want you guys to go ahead and extract it and I will post the instructions for you. Now for Mac and Windows is going to be two different ways of doing this. It's basically the same thing, but there's just you know slight variances. So for Mac, I want you guys to open up the terminal and you're going to have to go ahead and type in Okay, so once you have ADB installed, I want you to go ahead and type in this ADB command with your phone plugged in. And once you have done so, you should be good to go. So after you've done this, it's always good to go ahead and, you know, deactivate USB debugging. Go ahead into your search settings, type in USB debug once again, tap USB debugging, and toggle the switch off. And I want you guys to unplug your device. And once you have completed this, go ahead and find that auto 90 hertz app and go ahead and tap on it like so. And now you should be good to go. You have all your toggle switches to the right and you have your apps over here. And you could basically choose whichever apps you guys want to force to 90 hertz. And for some of them, you can actually keep it at auto, like I've said earlier. So anyways, this is the auto 90 app. And so far, it's been working pretty damn good. So I haven't seen too many differences when it comes to gaming. I'm not exactly sure why. If you guys know a reason, please hit me up down in the comments section below. But everything else, like Reddit, like I've said, uh, photos, the gallery app, everything looks pretty damn good with 90 hertz. So anyways, people. This is Alter Tech forcing the 90 hertz on the OnePlus 7T. It is possible and it does work. So as you guys recall, Google did revert the Google Chrome app back to 60 hertz. So let's go ahead and open this up. And with this being forced back to 90 hertz, everything seems to be smooth as usual. So if you guys have any other apps you guys want to go ahead and force to 90 hertz, go ahead and install Auto 90. Anyways, people, so please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. And please subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more OnePlus 7 videos. This is Altered Tech, aka that OnePlus guy signing out. I hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. Peace.